Are you looking for a free open source platform for signing documents? Let's discover Documento, a free alternative to DocuSign. With a high quality UI and a smooth user experience, signing documents could become a pleasure. It's the perfect tool for one-time signatures with multiple signers, but also for recurring scenarios by leveraging its templates feature, webhooks and API. Before diving into the platform overview and discovering its features, let's see the options we have to start using it. You can use their cloud version, offering a free tier up to 5 documents per month, or $30 a month for an unlimited number of documents. You can also self-deploy it by following their installation guide, or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy the self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice, while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To start using Documento with our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Documento, select, choose between the different cloud providers, regions and service plan based on your needs. Then hit Next, adjust the final settings, choose between the different level of support, I will keep the free included one, and once you are ready, hit Create Service. Once the installation is finished, you will receive an email, follow the accessing the web UI link. And then, because it is the first time we open it, we need to create an account. Sign up. We arrive on this lovely UI. We enter our full name, our email address, a password, and we need to sign here. This way, we won't have to draw our signature every time. Then, next. And to create a portal link to all your signed documents, you need to enter a username. I will put LSTO and then complete. Now we need to confirm our email address. Simply follow the link in the email. Now our email is confirmed, we arrive on Documento dashboard. You have the document, it's where we are by default. Currently it's empty, but we will fill it just after. And you also have the templates. We'll dive into this feature later. Let's upload our first document. I found an example of an NDA, I will just drag and drop it here. Once the document is uploaded, it's opening the edition mode. On the left, you have the preview of the whole document and on the right different settings that you can adjust. First let's rename it NDA and then you can adjust the settings of who has access or not to the document. By default there is no restrictions or simply you can require a Documento account. Most of the time no restrictions should be good, we will keep it. Then you have some advanced options where you can adjust the date format, the time zone, and to redirect your users, your signers, after they sign the document. Let's redirect them to ls.io. Then continue. Let's enter someone else. I will use my email plus signing and type their name. Then you can add other signers, but we won't do it. And I can add myself, so it will prefill with my name my email address and my name. Then there is this nice feature, enable signing order. What it does is it enables a signing order. So once the first one sign, then it will send the email to the second one or the third and fourth. Without it enabled, everyone will receive the signing at the same time. Let's reorder it so I will sign first and then the second one will have to sign. Let's continue. And now we need to set up our form for a signing. You have different type of feeds you can add to your document. Mine is quite simple, but let's say on the bottom of the first page, we want the initials. So we simply drag and drop it where we want it to be. So here it's mine because I'm currently on me. And for the other user too, initials, click. And we will have both initials here. Then below, for me, I will need my name. You can resize, rescale items, it's very practical. Then the title, so we enter a text box. And below, let's put the signature, a nice box. Then for the second signer, we will need its name. You can see that the color change, very useful to not confound which one is who. And here you have the same color. Then we will need the title, so it's a text. And finally, 
in the signature. We will ignore the partner here. Now continue and we can edit the subject and the message from the email that will be sent. By default, it's optional, so I guess there is something by default, but let's fill it. Please sign the NDA and then dear, and we could type the name, but you see you have variables. So dear signer.name, here is the document name. Please sign it. Thank you. And let's send it. Now we can see our document is in pending state and I receive the email requesting me to sign it. Currently, I only have it on this email address. Let's follow sign document because it's on my main account. My full name and signature are already pre-filled. So I can scroll, click on initials because it knows my name. It will pre-fill it automatically. Then next field, it will scroll to the part where I need to sign. I can click on my name. Then for the title, it's something I need to type. So let's say CEO, save, and the signature. I can click and it will pre-fill it. Now you can see my signature, everything is filled. I'm okay, hit complete. You have a confirmation and sign. I'm successfully redirected to LSTO because we set up this before. Now, without even reloading, we can see that one of the recipient signed the document and the other one is waiting. Now we can see I have received a second document. Here it is and signed document. This time you can see I'm still logged on my main account, but nicely it detected it's not the same email address. So it prefilled with this full name and the signature. I still have to draw it. So let's scroll to next field, my initials. They will be pre-filled. Then next field, my name, the title, let's say employee, save. And for the signature, first I need to draw something and insert it. Now we can hit complete, sign, and both parties have signed the document. If we go back to our dashboard, you can see the status has been updated to completed and both parties signed. On the main account, you receive another notification email, signing complete, and you can download the final document. Hit open document, so you can see the final signed version on the left with all signatures and field inputs. And on the right, you have a lot of information. When was it created, modified, the audit trail of who did what and when. And finally, download the PDF. This is the workflow for occasional document signing. But if you have some process and you need to sign documents every week, maybe you will like the templates feature. To explain what it is, let's just use it. We use a new template. We need a document. We will use the same. Open. It's uploading it. We also arrive on edit mode, but the options are a bit different. First, we can create a direct link. What it means is your users will be able to follow that link and sign the document by entering their email address, and you will be notified when someone do this. You can embed that link in any of your projects or send it by email to many, many people. Let's enable our direct link and create one automatically. Let's copy it to our clipboard, we'll open it later and save. Now let's set up our template. So by default, because we have a direct link, it will generate a placeholder so we can have variables for our fields. Then continue. Let's go here and we can ask for the name and you can see it's attached to one who will use the direct link. Then let's say the signature, save template. Now you can see the template is in our list. We can use the template so we can enter an email manually or we can follow the link directly as any other user and they will arrive on the signing page. This time they will have to type their email address. Let's type anything and then continue. We need to sign. So our name is required and our signature. We can sign, complete and sign. It's the same process. Then we have the confirmation, we have signed it and we can create an account on Documento. 
on the main account, you will see that someone cited the document from a template. To go further, if you want to integrate it with your project or with your app, you can go to user settings and enable webhooks. For example, if you want to add Zapier. So click on create webhook. And for how to set up this, simply follow the instructions in the documentation. I will put the link in the description of this video. Then if you want to integrate it with your app, go to API tokens, generate a token, choose an expiration date or never expire, create your token, copy it. Then in the documentation, go to public API. You have a Swagger documentation with all the endpoints you can use in your project. Don't forget to use your API key as the authorization. And then you can use any of the endpoints. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Documento with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video, available here.